you doing? Annabelle gets to go. Hey, what's up everyone? We have moved spots. We didn't end up going down to the boondocking sites. It was no. a little too warm. We didn't rent a boat this time because it's been kind of windy. It's the been, weather's been a little crazy since we've been here. Yeah, very windy. And yeah, it's no fun out on the middle of the water. And it, when we get down to the water, it's actually windier because there's no trees or anything to break it up. We did get a very cool spot though down here in the corner. We're right across from a park. And then they actually have a big dog park also. And then another park behind that. This place is just huge. It's just, it's huge. Yeah, it's been nice. Annie loved all the, all the green grass. Very nice. So we're going to go down tonight and first we're going to go to Sam's Club, pick up a few things, and then we're going to go down to a park across the water from Laughlin and see what Laughlin looks like all lit up at night. Yeah. It's like a little mini Vegas. So yeah, Annie's ready. She gets to go into Sam's Club. That's pretty exciting. It makes her feel so special. Yeah. And we'll be uploading this video with Nomad Internet if you guys need some high speed mobile Wi Fi. Check out the video's description below. We're a little messed up. Club. It's very, very windy out, hopefully you can hear me. But right across the street from the Sam's Club is this huge parking lot. And you've got an awesome view of Laughlin all down the river. Pretty much just all casinos, but it's pretty cool. We don't really gamble, but some of them have shows and the Riverside Casino has uh, it has a show, it has movie theaters, it's got all kinds of stuff. And I'm not sure about all the other ones. We've only been to Laughlin once, I think. Actually stayed in Laughlin. And all we did pretty much is went down to the In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> the bright I, lights are pretty though. I think I did lose like $10, I think in that casino actually, <laughs> in the Riverside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. They have a nice walkway that goes down a little ways down the, the river over there you can get into a few of the different casinos i'm not sure you can go to all of them i don't remember the river looks high right now it's a pretty neat town it is a pretty neat town laughlin isn't real huge i think everybody lives across the river in bullhead because there's only as far as i know there's only a couple neighborhoods over in laughlin it's mostly desert on the other side of these casinos there's well, like nothing the shops and casinos like everything's over here as far as stores all the shopping yeah, yeah there's hardly anything over there there's like a couple restaurants yeah. down before you get into the town here in laughlin that we could find anyway there we there wasn't much else over there everything was over here but this is a bridge right down there's a bridge and you cross but the only other way to get over to laughlin is way down on the other side of laughlin and bullhead yeah, there's not a lot so of yeah there's only cross. yeah there's two bridges <laughs> one on the north and one in the south and that's it so if you're in the middle you might have a little drive <laughs> so weird i can see people in their rooms over here oh. they got all the lights on and it's open <laughs> that's pretty crazy I should have brought my binoculars <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's very windy though but a very nice night we got our shows recording on the DVR. We just wanted to come check it out. Yeah. I think we're going to head out in the morning. So yeah, we got to get back to Kingman in a couple days and do an ultrasound, doctor's baby. appointments. Yep. <laughs> so yeah. Annie, you ready to go home? Ready to go home. Annie don't like it when it's dark. No. She says it's dangerous. We should be inside. <laughs> All right, we're leaving Bullhead City this morning. Candace is over in the truck. There's no dump stations at the sites here. It's just water and power. So I'm gonna pull over to the parking lot on the way out and where the dump station is, and then we'll hook up the truck there. And then we're making our way back to Kingman. All right, we're getting on the road. 
Tanks are dumped. Back to Kingman. Gotta go back to Kingman. Candace has a doctor's appointment in a few days. That we are so excited for. Yep. <laughs> then we'll be heading out after that to go explore somewhere else. It is super windy again. That's why we didn't do a boat or anything. It was just so windy every single day. Well, not every day. The first couple days we was here, it was perfect, but it was the weekend. So we figured we would wait till the weekdays when it wouldn't be as crowded. And it's been like 30, 40 mile an hour winds every day. Today wasn't even supposed to be windy, but it is. So what can you do? Amy right. still got her it walks. It ain't going anywhere. We'll be back. Yep. driving not too far we got about an hour drive today well long a little longer than that we're going down through bullhead city first because candace needs to get something from the target there's no target in kingman <laughs> all right guys we made it back to kingman and our friends mike and mindy are next door to us they came by for the weekend we're gonna go out today probably get some dinner and stuff huh yeah, yeah we went back to the same place we was at last time it was actually the only one that had a spot yeah. that's what you get for waiting till friday though, we waited till the last spot. minute but man it's almost winter i figured it'd be pretty easy but it was pretty easy this place still has lots of spots empty here it's a pretty big rv park yeah. let me, let me that. that's a little better i mean so yeah, we're back in Kingman, probably only for a few days, and then we have a couple other things planned that I've been wanting to go do. A couple little towns with just some neat stuff in them that we're going to go do. Just some exploring in the area. So we did end up getting the house in Kingman. We got the house. We're so excited. We don't Yay. get it just yet. We got a little while to wait, so we'll keep traveling in the meantime. We actually are supposed to sign papers and finish escrow right before Thanksgiving hopefully the lady needed a little bit of time because she's moving to Florida and she's buying a condo so she has to close on the condo before she leaves the house I guess so but she wanted to like give us everything she wanted to give us like all of her furniture and it was all nice stuff it just wasn't our style it was kind of 80s style southwestern, southwestern yeah <laughs> and i mean it did it was nice furniture but she had a really good charity that could really use it so pretty much everything's going to charity yeah even the appliances we just want to start with new appliances they're nice i mean the lady really took care of the house everything's clean but the dishwasher's black and Candace doesn't like the style of electric stove. She likes smooth top and it's the one with the you know the the, the circle thing. It's a lot harder to clean than I'm the a messy top. cook. I want to be able to just wipe it off. <laughs> and the stove and fridge is white and then we think the kitchen would look a lot better with uh, stainless so if everything matched and yeah so every, we're gonna start new it might take us a while to actually furnish the whole place and everything like that but that's okay guys you gotta remember this is our this we are purchasing our second home okay this is still our home yeah. you know coppers our home this this class C is our home we're this is just gonna be a second home I, I doubt we're even in this house half of the time yeah I doubt it. Not even half of the time, you know. Or it's 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 a base camp. It's somewhere to go back to, and, and, and you know, just relax for a week or two and not have to worry about where we're going, where we have to go next, or you know, or anything. You know, if I need to do something to the RV, right now we might spend a little more time there towards, you know, getting closer to Candace having the baby. Right, yeah. After she's born, we might stay a couple months in the area because we'll have doctor's appointments and things to have to do anyway, but um, just to get used to having the baby and everything. Yeah. But videos aren't going to stop. We're still going to be going and do things. You know, some things we might not be taking the RV because there's so many things close. We can do day trips in the truck and show you some really cool stuff. Yeah. So, so the adventure is never going to stop. The adventures are never going to stop. I will carry a baby around no <laughs> problem. You watch. We carry Annie. You think yeah. we're not going to carry a baby? <laughs> I mean, come on. So, yeah, I mean, the channel can't not change a little bit. You know, it can't. 
You know, life changes. Everybody's life changes. You know, your favorite TV show always ends. Besides The Simpsons, never end. <laughs> <laughs> they, they will, uh, hopefully it will never end. But other than that, you know, things change, you know. It's just part of life. Yep. I mean, it, it's a whole new I chapter. I can't imagine doing the same thing forever, so. We got to get some stuff done while we're here. Candace has tons of laundry and i've got some things i need to get done to the rv and we're gonna go spend some time with mike and mindy yep and happy halloween yes happy halloween we are gonna be getting a p.o box really soon yeah and we're gonna post that so if um i'm gonna do a registry at a few places like target so if any of my friends or family or anyone is interested in getting us something for the baby um i'll have that available really soon for you no pressure nobody has to do anything no. we still love you all <laughs> so it's just you know a lot of people have, have mentioned how they can send something so this, that's going to be how so yeah. So I'm excited. It's coming about soon, and we'll, we will show you the pictures or whatever we get from the ultrasound in the next video. Yeah. So we'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Yeah. It's like a little mini Vegas without all the sin. Yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> Got to get back to Laughlin for some doctor's appointments and a ultrasound. Hi. Right. I mean, yeah, Kingman. <laughs>